Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this video, how to day trade any market, the $1,000 a day challenge. So this is episode 55. So we've had another really good winning, uh, winning trade. Let me get the uh, words out of my mouth correctly. And uh, I recorded this about three days after. I've actually got about uh, three or four videos I need to do to catch up. So my target is $1,000 a day and I'm about to show you how I do it. So uh, what I show you here, I'm trading five contracts. Uh, if you want to earn more, you simply add more contracts, increase your position size. And what I teach you here, you can apply to trading futures, Forex or stocks. There is a risk in trading, so don't trade it with money that you can't afford to lose. And please feel free to pause the recording to read the disclaimer in full. Very quick advertisement. If you haven't already requested my ebook, please click on the link below, the description link below, and you'll be able to download my ebook, The Truth About Day Trading. Even better still, make sure you become a member for $197 what I show you there's um, uh, over 38 PowerPoints there's hundreds of hours of recordings I don't want to make this a big sell it's the most comprehensive program in the world literally there is nothing else like this now uh, included in this are all my indicators there's nothing else to to buy and I even include eight coaching sessions so you can attend eight of my private group coaching sessions I run two two-hour sessions every week uh, and so I include the first month free now after the first month you can drop me an email and say you'd like to continue those and we have about 200 traders in those coaching sessions uh, and it's $97 a month to cancel at any time you've got to ask me if you wish to join it uh, but I'm throwing in one month free and make sure <laughs> last thing Make sure you subscribe to my channel click on the link or the arrow or whatever it is below so you keep up to date with all of my videos okay end of ad let's get into it so in today's um, uh, session I took five trades for four wins and one break even within 40 minutes using what I call the scalp and tech uh, scalp and run technique that is my trades are fairly quick usually uh, you'll see I miss a lot of good trades at times I'm uh, usually multitasking or I may not take a trade for whatever reason and look back and say ah should have taken that one or I made a blunder today that is I made two mistakes today I entered a trade got out too early and re-entered and <laughs> I got in too late now it still worked out mighty fine one was break even and uh, the other one is you're about to see I had to increase my stop to 21 ticks which is uh, six ticks uh, around five to six ticks larger than what I would normally do um, but I'll show you that and explain it as we go along unfortunately we do have to pay commission so that was 12 15 but um, 11 10 50 uh, after commissions in around 40 minutes of trading which isn't a bad income a thousand dollars a day um, most people can live on that so we'll see this on the screen here so we'll go to the uh, um, the charts in a moment but one thing I do want to emphasize here is just how powerful what I'm about to show you really is now you need to have a minimum of three and a half thousand dollars uh, to do what I'm about to show you okay because generally speaking we never risk any more than two percent of our capital okay now what that means um, uh, here is that seventy dollars now that is only 14 ticks so when you've got a larger stop loss you need to have typically a four thousand dollar account so you've got two choices where I made the error you can either exit and take a small loss or break your money management rules which I really don't recommend uh, or as you build your account you really want to risk only 1% of trade it means your return on capital is lower but trading is a lot easier but the bottom line is here traders I only need four scalps on average uh, what I call six six step scalps and I'll show you what those are two that's 240 a day and what it really means here is within 11 weeks you've got the potential of earning 10 grand a week now it just depends on the how many contracts you want to trade now I will tell you this I trade after hours the globex session which means I can easily trade five 
but I get slippage what I call slippage when you start trading 12 you've got to be prepared for slippage you couldn't for an example trade 100 lots well you could but you're not going to get filled correctly all right so what I'm showing you here in trading after hours you can romp trading five to ten contracts in no problems but that's a ten grand a week income and here if you start off with three and a half within 11 weeks you're up to 44,000 in your account now I do have to point this out you're uh, you're only earning 200 a day and you don't start trading a second contract to your earn, uh, double your money once I've tripled my money I start trading three etc so this is a very realistic conservative trading plan so this is the reality of what I'm about to show you and teach you now if you don't have three and a half to four thousand dollars you can that's the beautiful thing now you can start on the micros okay you start on the micro going for only twenty dollars a day instead of two hundred dollars a day here's the effect of this within 11 weeks on the micro my account is now up to four thousand four hundred and seventy dollars I now switch over and start trading the big contract in fact even if he said to me Ray I've got four to ten thousand dollars now I would still recommend as your coach you start on the micro you cut your teeth there build your confidence and competence then you can start trading the big contract okay so the effect of this is if you start with only 350 to 400 okay within 11 weeks you're up to your 4-4 that's where you start trading the big contract and it's taking you 22 weeks to get there only 22 weeks and you're potentially financial financially free for life now the question is well if it's that straightforward why doesn't everyone do that well traders the easy things in life are also easy not to do meaning trading with the trend taking the time to master for setups trading with the proper money management now I happen to know that my average video here goes for about 20 to 30 minutes yet the average watch time is only six to ten minutes from people watching my videos so I know that traders flick from one to another looking for what I call the next shiny um, object they suffer from what we call the shiny object syndrome they don't want to take the time to learn the rules day trading is not rocket science my setups are not rocket science but they work they work brilliantly but most traders they just want to look for you know the quick way um, to get rich well traders get rich slowly that's my advice as your coach so just before we go to the charts because there's a couple of interesting things I want to teach you on the charts today is you've got to check regularly where are the pivots now if you're a brand new trader these may not mean a whole lot to you they're really simple concepts once you clearly understand them uh, indicators on your charts will, will lay all of these out for you but they're critical to your success why because they act as pivot magnets or they act as price magnets but also support resistance areas so I need to be checking regularly where are my pivots my prior days open high low closed levels and with all of these once again indicators plot these for you I need to know where my 89 and 200 EMAs are absolutely critical and they'll make you a fortune when you understand them you need to know where your intraday swings and high highs and lows are and as you'll see how important the current days high and low is why we bounce off those every day won't get too much into round numbers so we'll go to the charts so target 1000 a day this is um, a, a, just a realistic target if you're serious about your trading so let's have a look at this so I'm looking here traders we're looking at what we call um, and that's the what's that that's the anchor chart actually is that the anchor chart uh, I've skipped ahead a little bit here uh, I know why I've done that so I'll come back to this in a minute so uh, what was I about to say then oh that's right so read the time frame so oh, this particular time frame um, I'm trading a four tick Renko you could trade tick time based charts uh, Renko uh, which I'm on obviously yeah, range uh, 
it really doesn't matter what type of chart but after hours we can trade a smaller time frame which also means we've got a smaller stop loss now if I'm trading or if you're trading the New York session or the afternoon session or even the London session this time frame will be too fast so you need to increase the time frame so let me just um, uh, realign this I'm just going to pause this a moment okay so I've got it all lined up and I've got what I call my anchor chart so a critical factor traders I want to be swimming with the flow of a river not against it I want to be surfing the waves into shore and how we do that is by having what we call an entry chart trading in the direction of our anchor chart now years ago I discovered just through experience a number of uh, how can I put it um, time frames that one needs to set up to model exactly what I'm doing here so I have three charts I've got an entry an anchor chart one anchor chart two you can start off with just two charts and when you've got multiple screens as I have you I don't normally have them side by side I like to have my charts full screen uh, on full screen so I can see a larger pattern but one thing I wanted to point out an incredibly valuable lesson here is over here um, I've got what we call a 200 EMA and that's that black line okay we want to always be trading in the direction of our 289 EMAs and you'll actually get we call them t12s where we bounce but what we've also got to watch here is when we start going sideways this is absolutely critical now I know some traders can say duh I know that well why do so many traders blow their account time after time this is one of the reasons now if I had have taken this trade here uh, I would have been stopped would have made money would have been stopped I uh, would have made money sorry would have been stopped would have made money would have made money and now I get on with my trading what's the difference here well what I'm looking for is that what I call a fanning of the EMAs and I'll now expand this chart and with this black line this black line here is the 200 EMA from a higher time frame and what that does it gives me a heads up of what's happening on my higher time frame but what I'm looking for is my 89 EMA to be above my 200 EMA and I actually fire off a trade just here now traders usually on this market I'm after 14 ticks which is $70 a trade and I like to usually have a 14 tick stop okay and so what that means is um, with a 14 tick stop uh, I've got $70 I've got my stop usually at or just under the swing low in fact I always want to have my stop one tick below the low so I enter this trade uh, 14 ticks thank you very much very quickly uh, and that white line there remember before I said we need to really keep an eye on the open high low and close that is the prior days close and you'll see here we just had a bit of a glitch there we bounced around but I was already out of that now as a scalper as scalpers we usually have fixed targets we're in and out we're looking for the next opportunity what that means is a smaller stop loss and lower risk particularly in this market All right so let's now look for our next um, uh, target so price rallies up this lime green color up here traders this is the current day's high so you can see here we're making a high we're getting higher and higher and now I form a beautiful little double top now I've got divergence and I've got a double top now I discourage all new traders from trading divergence now as I'm going to show you you get a ton of with trend trades so ignore divergence initially it is trickier but humans we've just got this nature where we always want to be seeking you know market turns <laughs> and what happens is uh, if that fails you then will miss out on the trend trade and so divergence is a lot tougher to, tra to trade until you really know what you're doing okay so just be very very aware of that
now I'm just looking up here and I just want to pull this down this is where the market is currently as I'm recording this this live I've got up here on the screen uh, just here so here is a classic divergence trade higher high and see my MACD dropping away now this is actually called a zero lag MACD now remember on that slide I showed you I said we want to note where the pivots are that is a pivot a floor pivot and that's the prior days close remember where are our pivots where are our days high open high low and close why we bounce off those levels look at this day in look we bounce off them day in day out now we make a new higher high and away we go and this is where we are currently price wise right now so uh, and as you can see this is very very tradable the way this is ticking away you've got plenty of time to put your trading and the white paint bar there it's called the super scalper okay and so on the NQ I always want to use the super scalper to confirm entries always 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 now the NQ we used to call it the nasty NAS a lot of <laughs> the nasty NASDAQ because it can get very whippy and nasty I've reframed that I now call it the nifty NAS okay <laughs> just to be nicer to it all right back on the this we've got a nice little double top with divergence and to take this that I would also have divergence on my higher time frame it's called a 2d okay and down we come so as we come down here I now get in and this was actually an error I should have actually I had three three things I did here that should have done quite differently number one when I have these divergence trades down on my 89 EMA and the prior days close I should have actually exited uh, at that point and I went to exit but it bounced so I should have actually adjusted my um, target um, uh, using the, the, um, the dome the matrix here uh, to exit one or two ticks above instead I ended up with four or five ticks of slippage uh, so I didn't make anywhere near as much as I should have on that trade now when I say that it was only a hundred dollars out but I should have made an extra 100 on this trade I then had a break even and I think I was flustered then because for some reason I hit exit I, I got out of that trade um, and I've tried I know why I got out of this trade I looked over here at this double top and quite often when you have a we trend trade after major divergence it fails so I was actually really peeved with myself but then I realized by going flat I made an error I should have stayed in it because there was something happening on the anchor chart um, which I won't go into now which said stay in the trade so I jumped back in now I jumped back in and it meant then that I had to extend my stop much larger than what I'd normally do that is a no-no unless you have the account size to do that now you'll see in all of my videos if I make an error or have an error or make a mistake I'll tell you about it because it's how you learn to any trader that doesn't make mistakes you know run a mile it's a bit like a person that tells you he manufactures antiques <laughs> run a mile okay we all make it and, and in fact um, I'll show you a couple of tr golden trades that I missed in a moment okay but anyway I increased my stop in the end I then got out we ran there uh, we tested the high I was out thank you uh, where did I get out on this one up here so thank you very much I hit my target and I was out at the high of day now just up here I had what we call for members watching this I had a 2DA which is a very high quality divergence trade but I didn't jump in on it unfortunately so down we come and if I remember correctly and let me just confirm this with you uh, was I on the that's right I was on a phone call at the time and I missed two beautiful trades just here so let me just uh, minimize that for a minute so I missed uh, uh, this trade and I missed this 3b okay so 3b is a beautiful trade so each of those would have given me my um, 14 ticks uh, okay so after that then I jumped in on this was also a 3b so I jumped in on this 
3b and got out up here thank you and so all wrapped up in 40 minutes now straight after that so I missed uh, uh, this divergence trade I missed um, this with trend trade and straight after there was um, just this trade here we call a t20-1 so that was a, would have been a nice little winner uh, we then had a 2b uh, we had now we look at this here and you may look at that and say why not take that very important thing we want to be trading in the direction of the higher time frame and that's what I call it a neck entry that is the um, no anchor chart candle confirm that we're looking for something to happen on the anchor chart to confirm the trend continuation we get a retracement if the anchor chart one does not confirm we don't take a trade so that was not uh, and by the way I'd wrapped up my trading here but that was a knack here you had a 3b here you had a 3b now we're rolling over now the footprints to a trend traders are when we're making higher highs and higher lows or lower lows which is what we now make now and lower highs that's what we call a footprint to a trend down we come now we've made a new lower low what am I now after a new lower high so the concepts traders are really quite simple now all of these everything I'm showing you here are all patterns some of them are geometric they appear in the market each and every day they are what we call rules based patterns so traders um, uh, another great day um, a couple of um, well actually there were three little areas in an area there but we still end up mighty fine so come and join my program okay so you can click on the link below and there's actually you'll find you can join the program directly below come and attend my coaching sessions and let me teach you how to trade this so traders uh, as always I love day trading see you on my next video and hopefully uh, in my coaching room thanks traders oh and don't forget I've got the bonus of the yeah of the eight uh, two-hour sessions thanks traders